friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and having a great day so far. Um, today, I'm actually filming this video the day that it's supposed to go out. Um, because, well, this whole video will kind of show you what my life has been like and the reason for being so behind in filming. <laughs> I'm also, this entire week, I've been filming like a week in my life, so that should be up probably the next video. Um, and yeah, so I'm filming a video while also having to film other videos, if that makes sense. It's kind of crazy. Um, I was like, why not show you guys what it's like to have six puppies and two big dogs? So eight dogs all together. I'm gonna show you what a typical day is like with eight dogs currently. It's not the long-term plan. Thought maybe that would be interesting for any of my fellow dog people out there. You might enjoy this video. So I'm just gonna take you along. It's mostly gonna be focusing on the dogs. I won't show you like a lot of my other things, but um, yeah, I'll just kind of show you what my day is like. Um, so I hope you enjoy this. Um, it's already, it's 10 o'clock. So we've been up for a couple hours already. First thing I normally do is take the puppies out because they are whining in the mornings. They need to go pee. I have them in the crate for the night and so they don't really have access to a pee pad and they go potty immediately. Um, I've been taking them out quite faithfully so that they're partially like, they know that they need to go pee on the grass. So I'm very impressed with that and I feel like it will be helpful to their new owners. And then I take the big dogs out and then Harper, I've been trying to wean the puppies off of Harper, but she is desperate to nurse them every morning. So I always let it happen. I'm, I'm trying to just let it happen once in the morning and then try to, I'm gonna try to go down <laughs> to nothing. But it's really hard when the mom herself really wants to nurse them. So if you have any tips on how to wean puppies completely, let me know. Um, but it makes them very whiny <laughs> and it makes her a little whiny too. So yeah, that part is hard But yeah, I always let let her nurse them for a little bit in the morning and then I give them their dog food um, They're on a solid food diet now obviously and I feed the big dogs. I'm about to take the puppies outside again I give them crate time every two hours and I try to take them pee every every hour. <laughs> so right now it feels like that's all I'm doing. Um, but anyways, hopefully this craziness will be over soon. Um, they're turning eight weeks old tomorrow, so I hope that they can all find new homes soon. I did not show very much when I took the puppies out to go pee. That was a very, it did not go as planned. It was very overwhelming. I'm just gonna be honest, I was like almost crying. It's so, I don't know, kind of just stressful. And I feel like when I'm kind of stressed and I don't react well, and in turn, my dogs act out. And they kept wanting to run like into the bushes close to the neighbor's yard and, and then the puppies would run around the corner of the garage and they're not allowed to be there. And then they would try to eat poop. Like, can someone explain to me why puppies eat poop? It is the most disgusting thing and they run to it. It is disgusting, it grosses me out and I try not to allow it, but they always seem to find some. So yeah, it was very stressful. So I just turned the camera off and um, <laughs> went and put the puppies to bed. Right now the big dogs are inside. I just got back from, um, I needed to go into town for a few things. I was hoping to find some gift bags for the puppies' little, um, gifts that I'm gonna give with each of them to their, like, to go to their new homes. Kind of like a starter pack. But they did not have anything that I wanted, so I'm going to get that on Saturday or whenever we go to town to do grocery shopping. So, I did find these. So I'm very excited to give these to the puppies because they chew on literally everything. Like, for real. If I'm sitting on the floor, there's puppies chewing on my toes, on my clothes, just anything. And <laughs> so I think they're going to love these. I'm very excited. Once they wake up from their nap, I'm going to give them to them. So 
Anyways, let's go inside. <laughs> stay over there. You stay. There is eight of them in here, so I'm gonna give each of the big dogs one. They're very excited. No, you stay. <laughs> you want it? No, I did not say you can come. Harper, I said stay. Good puppies. Now you can have it. Oh, yes. <laughs> All treasures must be brought to the living room. <laughs> Which is why this floor is always dirty. I have a nice little while of peace now. The puppies are napping and the big dogs are just doing their own thing, kind of chewing on their things and playing on their own. So I'm just getting some other stuff done while that happens. And about in an hour, I'm gonna put the big dogs down for their crate time. I always like to give them like two hours of crate time in the middle of the day. Down, Harper down. Stay. Okay, you go to bed. AC, go to bed. You go to bed. Good boy. This is my favorite little bunny. <laughs> this is the most laid back one. Like, he was like always just in the background, not really playing with me when the other puppies were. And then I started giving him just like special attention and he found out that scratches feel very good. <laughs> and now he's always by me. Cause he loves me, right? Do you love me? Do you love me? And here's another one. Look at his cute little spot on his back. This one is obsessed with belly rubs. When you start scratching him on his back, he'll just slowly turn over. <laughs> it's so cute. And another one. <laughs> this one has such big ears. Oh, he's so cute. He's so very, very cute. They're usually <laughs> quite whiny right after I've taken them out because they think I need to keep playing with them. Right? They think they need attention all the time. But I wanna see how they like their little treat. I don't think I'm gonna give them all because they can kind of play with them maybe. I don't know, maybe I could. You, does this, does this little buddy want one? I don't know why it keeps getting blurry. Do you want it? You want it? I think they're fans. Time for a little peanut butter treat. Harper, is it so delicious? Harper, is it so delicious? <laughs> Who is being very whiny? Shut up! Shut up! What needy little brat. Yes, so needy. <laughs> Big dog's crate time is over. Um, and I gave them some peanut butter. I don't do it every day, but I thought they could have a little ah. treat again. <laughs> Anyways, my next thing is to clean out this room. It is 
it doesn't smell very fresh right now. I always put pee pads in the bottom of that box and they nicely do most of their pooping in there. So I'm very thankful for that. It's not like walking all over. They're, they're not walking all over it. Um, I do, however, still use footwear to go in this room. <laughs> and um, I wash it pretty much every day because it just... I can't stand the smell of it getting into the house, so yeah. I'll do a little time lapsing so you don't have to see the details. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just think it's the cutest thing when they're all standing there. There's six little heads. I <laughs> think they just keep popping up. That is much better. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna explain this really fast because I don't want them to have to stay here longer than they have to, but I've been trying out this little challenge for them, which is very hard. While they wash the floor, they have to like stay there on the carpet. They can like watch me from there and stuff. I wanted to do a little time lapse. This is only the third time I've tried this. They've been pretty good with it, but especially Ace since he's only like seven months old or eight months old. I'm not, I forget how old he is, but anyways, it's pretty hard for him sometimes. I'm getting ready to bath all of the dogs, but I wanted to show you what um, shampoo I've been using. I absolutely love it. It is the Monate Pet Shampoo. Let's see. Um, I really, really love it. It smells so good. Um, and I feel like it just, the smell lasts longer on them. I also have a deodorizing spray that I keep right by the door. And then I try to, it doesn't happen every time, but I try to spray them every time I've taken them outside so that the outside smell doesn't come inside. And it works really well as well. It just makes them smell so fresh again. So yeah, highly recommend. Um, but anyways, let's get this party started. They are not fans of the water. <laughs> My tripod is being really stupid and not staying in its position. Oh, poppies, I'm sorry. I will be done very, very soon, okay? There was very much crying going on from the puppies. <laughs> they were not fans. Ah, poor Harper, she is being a good mom and letting them nurse. I'm allowing it because I feel like they were just really scared and they're probably feeling really insecure and cold right now. So yeah, but I think they look like little rats. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys this probiotic that I give for my dogs. I don't really know how good it is. It's just like a cheap one I found on Amazon. But um, yeah, I give it to my dogs because their breath smells really bad. Um, and I feel like it's maybe gracious. Puppies are really barking. <laughs> I feel like um, it's probably their guts. So yeah, I've been giving this to them. And I'll probably link it down below in case anyone else wants to get it because if you have indoor dogs, you don't want their breath smelling like death. <laughs> it has been a day, you guys. Um, I made myself a cup of tea and I'm gonna sit down, hopefully get this video edited so you can watch it today yet. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Even if you're not a dog person, you can kind of see I guess this gives you a little behind the scenes of how much work it is and like exactly why I'm not very faithful or I haven't been as faithful with my videos or on time. Um, but yeah, bath all of the dogs. Now I just turn the heat up so that the puppies can dry because they were very cold. Um, but I'm definitely feeling it because in between all this dog stuff, I was also doing some canning and cleaning. So I feel like I had a very productive day but my body is feeling it now, so I'm gonna just relax. I really need a shower, but I'm gonna edit this video first, and yeah, I'm just so thankful I don't have to make dinner yet. We're going to my in-laws for dinner tonight, so 
yeah it should be a good time anyways i hope you enjoyed this video um and i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and i cannot wait to see you next time